All right, welcome to Villa Media Productions. This is my pond that I built a few months back. I was currently sitting. Uh, these are my plants. This one survived. This one got eaten up, but it's starting to grow back. Every time they lean over the toy, reach up and grab them and eat them up. Some of the plants in here didn't do too well. This one's doing fine. Um, what I'm getting ready to do is remove this and I'm gonna remove this from the center on the side here where this one is. I'm gonna build a platform that's gonna hold. Let's see if I could get this over here, give it I got these buckets. They're gonna sit up about this high. The, the platform I'm gonna put them on. And then I'm gonna have these plants sitting in one of them. I'm gonna have filter on two others. So I'll probably do is two or three on the platform. And from this point, I probably want the pipe lower. I'm gonna put a three inch pipe, put it lower so it doesn't splash as much. I still like the aeration that it causes, but it has a lot of splash. So I have this little piece here, excess from when I built the pond, the liner. But uh, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start that this weekend. Today is Saturday, I don't know, October 10th, 11th. So that's the project. Um, let me show you what I drew out on paper. Hang on. All right, so on paper, basically, that's a little rough sketch. Uh, the platforms here, these are the legs. I don't know if I'm gonna do six legs. I think I'm gonna do four. But this is the wood, I already measured it out. Got the 30 inch legs, the 50 inch framework, and then the 24 inch cross braces. So I'm gonna probably cut that later. And then this um, lighting screen, I'm gonna cut that to size, and I'm gonna lay that, you know, with about a with about an inch from the bottom of the uh, the tubs, so the water can flow through, and then I'll have a, a little spigot so I can do a clean out. So uh, I'll show you the buckets in a minute. Let me get back out to the back. All right, this is kind of an example. This is one of the buckets here. The plants, as I said, the ones that are right here from the middle. I'll have them sitting in this thing here. I'll put the screen that I showed you earlier, that lighting uh, diffuser, probably sit a few inches off the bottom. And the same way I built the spigot here so I can when I clean it out I can uh, turn that and flush out the bottom I'll probably add three spigots to the tub so that's the goal I'm gonna try to start on it and we'll see what happens about it I'm gonna start on it today Saturday I'll start on it Sunday being that the Bucks already played and lost on Thursday night football, I'll have a Sunday to do some of the work. All right, so I'll get started on that. Thanks for watching. All right, I got my wood here. I'm getting ready. I got it measured out already. 50 inches, 30 inches. I got it measured out. I'm going to come to the saw here. I'm going to go ahead and cut the wood and then assemble the platform so let me go ahead and get started on that all right so i got all the uh the wood the framework and over here i got the legs cut it took me about uh five minutes to do 
everything was pre-measured. Now I don't have, I got some wood here, just some extra wood back here behind the trash can that I'm gonna build the top piece. So let me go ahead and assemble the frame. I'll, because I'm doing this handheld, I'll, I'll give you a small example. Let me get this uh, table set up and I'll show you what I'm doing. All right, so basically this is gonna be the framework. Let me back up so you can see it. That's gonna be the frame where the, the plywood sheet's gonna lay up on top. Um, the legs, I'm gonna go here. That's how it's gonna go. Let's say this is upside down. So I'll have a leg on each corner. It's gonna be flipped like a little table basically. And the plywood sheet and then I'll have the buckets on top. Once I got this screwed in and the, le and the legs put in, I'll take it out back by the pond and show you what it looks like with the uh, with the tubs on top. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I just finished the platform part done. I pre-drilled it because last time I, as I was building the pond, a couple of spots I did not pre-drill and the wood split. So I'm pre-drilling everything. So I got that and I'm gonna connect the legs and then I'll show you that part. All right, so I got the platform built. It's just a little hair, maybe a little hair wobbly, but I figured the weight of the tubs will, um, you know, weight it down, it won't wobble. I got this piece of wood, this little warped, so I'm thinking if I screw it down here and then screw it down and then just trim off the little edge, I should be good. It's, uh, it's like a quarter inch thick, but I also have this wood, which is, thicker it's a three-quarter inch plywood that's smaller so I'd have to cut it and lay it across the table this way and then cut the edge off and then use some of the other scraps that I have to use I'd have to probably cut three sections but I think I might try this so let me run this to the back and then I'll put a piece of wood temporarily so you can see the buckets on top all right, so I'll get back to you in a second. Let me walk back here. All right, so here's the platform it's built. It's not the best. I don't claim to be a carpenter. But so what I'm gonna have is, this is basically gonna be on the other side of the pond. I'm gonna remove this one. But I'll go ahead and slide it up here. And let me slide it up and then I'll show you what the uh, bins, what I plan on doing with the bins. So uh, check it out. All right, so these are the three bins on top of the platform. Um, so my goal is the lid will be probably kept on all of them, except for the one that'll have the plants. One's going to have plants in it. So I'm going to have the pump flowing over the top, the flow, and so the one bin is going to have the sponges. This one will have the sponges. This one will probably have the um, lava rock in it. And then the last one will have the plants. So as I said before, on the bottom or elevated, I'm gonna have the, um, that grate, that uh, lighting uh, diffuser that's got the little square panels. So I'm gonna have it elevated on each one. So as the water, when it flows in, it's going to be trapped by the filter floss here and then as the water rises over here I'm going to have the uh, the same setup as I have over here with the pipe it's going to go right through the sides come into here flow into the lava rock which will also be elevated and I'll probably have a, a piece of uh, filter media on top of the rock to prevent the uh, you know the rocks from getting too filthy but I got here these are round I'm, I'm gonna cut them and fit them inside here I bought the round ones because I was gonna use a round trash can but uh, that's how that's gonna go so that's gonna go on the uh, underneath 
on the first layer to, to block off any other dirt that comes in and then as it flows up trap the dirt underneath and then I'll have the lava rock sitting on top of this and then which will flow into this one which will have the plants and, and all that stuff with rock in here also and then that'll be the one that flows into the tank so these are what 17 gallons each so they'll probably be filled with maybe 15 gallons in each one so like 45 gallons in total um i don't keep a heavily stocked pond because i know that these koi will probably get uh, quite a bit bigger so i have approximately maybe eight koi and about five cichlids that's one of the cichlids there currently they're hiding but uh, there's a the koi and uh, so these plants are going to get transferred to this along with that plant also and then I'll probably add a few more plants in there as the as the last filtration part that goes into the water so and that's all going to go on this side of the this side of the pond so as soon as I remove this out of the way I'll probably move this to the other side while I work on the uh, on that filter so I'll keep this one running I already have the wood cut out to cover this I'll paint it the same color to match so I'll, this will be covered the platform will sit on this side flowing in and then I'll also on each tub I plan on putting a spigot such as this one to clean out the bottom where I have the uh, maybe one inch, two inches or so of uh, open water area. So that's the plan. But all the water parameters are pretty good. Those are my toy. You can't see them because of the reflection. But that's the plan so this is the uh that's the platform and i'm done with that so i'll put out another video on the building of these three um filter containers so thanks for watching villa media productions